on me. Justice for 50. What are you doing? Ma'am, I'm please. I'm trying to call a person to be a pregnant. So why are you resisting, ma'am? Right now, a video of a cop tackling a pregnant woman to the ground is trending online and is all over social media. Hi, everyone. I'm Sandra Matos. Welcome to IO. An employee from Crestline Elementary School called police to report a woman who she had had an altercation with in the parking lot. She claimed that the woman who was Charlena Cooks got out of her car, punched her window and screamed at her. The cop said that he didn't see any evidence of any crime committed but said that he would go and talk to Cook. Cooks told police that she was at the school dropping off her daughter, admitted to having an altercation with the woman but denied banging on her window. The officer then asked Cooks for her name but she didn't want to give it to him. The officer said that he did indeed have every right to ask for her name and for her identification and she said okay well let me see about that and got on her phone to try to find out. The officer at first agreed to let the woman confirm what he had just told her but then he quickly changed his mind and tried to well I guess arrest her but put handcuffs on her. You see there really was no reason to handcuff and arrest her. You could hear Cook screaming please stop stop I'm pregnant. She was 8 months pregnant at the time but the officers, two of them, did not stop. You could hear one of the cops saying why are you resisting? Stop resisting. Almost as if he had to get it on camera to defend his actions. The two officers forced Cooks down to the ground, belly down and then proceeded to handcuff her and arrest her, charging her with resisting arrest. After this, Cooks had to carefully monitor the rest of her pregnancy. She has since then said she is not sure if she's going to press charges against the city, but come on, we all know it's going to happen. It should, she should sue. Now get this, the station defended the arrest, but here's the thing. Cops in California should not be arresting people for failing to provide ID just because they cannot find any other reason to make an arrest. It is not a good time for cops right now. So do you think cops should continue to train and take classes on how to properly handle situations like this? I think once you get your badge, it shouldn't stop there. I'm Sandra Matos, this was IO. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and like, share and subscribe for more videos.